Come on in. Congratulations. Oh, this Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Do we need to move them? Congratulations. No, we're good. Oh, congratulations. All right, folks, we want to welcome everyone uh, to our uh, post-game uh, first round press conference with the University of Texas. First of all, uh, congratulations on the victory. And uh, Texas will advance to Sunday's second round with a 31-4 record. As we mentioned, Coach, we would like to um, open up with a, uh, a statement from you, and then we'll take questions from the student-athletes. And the student-athletes that are here uh, with us, as you can see, we have freshman guard Madison Booker, senior forward Deanna Gaston, graduate guard Shaylee Gonzalez. Coach? Yes, ma'am, one second, Barb. Okay. Just give me one second. All right. Well, um, first, I just want to uh, congratulate Drexel. Uh, I thought those kids really um, played hard tonight. Uh, they came out with a lot of energy and focus, and um, they they obviously um, have had a great year, won seven in a row. Coach has done a great job with them, and uh, I just I thought they were really good tonight, um, really for three quarters. Uh, we had a really good third quarter, and um, – you know, that's probably kind of the difference in the game, to be honest with you. Uh, Booker having 14 assists. Is that what that says? I can't see with my eyes. 14, yes. Yeah. I mean, again, really unselfish. And it speaks volumes about the kid, who she is, um, how she sees the floor. Um, maybe not her best night shooting a ball, but she hadn't had a night like that in all season. And yet she still finds a way to help us win. And that's what an All-American does. And uh, um, Gaston, I, I'm, I'm, you guys don't even know this. She, don't even, she can't even be at shoot around today. She's sick. She's sick. Got sick last night in a hotel. And she doesn't come to shoot around. She wasn't, wasn't going to play. And um, I went in and, and saw her and just um, she doesn't have any fever or anything. She just felt really lousy. And, um, she ends up getting up off the deck and uh, playing really, really well. I'm really proud of her for gutting it out tonight. Played uh, 17 minutes and had uh, 10 rebounds and 11 points. So she has a double-double, and there was a time today when she wasn't even going to play. So I'm glad she played. And uh, um, obviously, Shaylee shot it really well. She got hot, and um, we were we ran some, some good stuff. We set some good screens for her. And, um, she really did a nice job. I thought she did a good job defensively. She has three steals, and we had uh, 12 for the game. And and so, um, you know, again, uh, we'll take it. Uh, I thought we had a lot of rust. It's been almost two weeks. I don't like that, but it's it's how it is in these conference tournaments. And uh, the league we're going to is the same way. You end on a Sunday, and you don't play till the following uh, two weeks from either Friday or Saturday. So I thought we had a lot of rust tonight to start. And um, but second quarter was a little better than the first, and then the third quarter was really, really good. So again, want to thank our fans. We had 7,400 um, plus tonight, and uh, made for an unbelievable atmosphere for both teams. A great experience for both Drexel and us. And um, I just want to say thank you to them, and again, thanks to Coach Huff for his generosity in providing the, the tickets for the students. Uh, what a what an incredible gesture on his part and uh so thank you coach and as you had mentioned um madison's assists that 14 assists are the most any and they would mention this to the media the most any by an, by a texas player in an ncaa tournament game that's pretty good they've had some pretty good players here over the years from i i, what would, I, know. I would agree with you coach yeah. all right now we're going to take questions for our student athletes if you're joining us remotely thank you Remember, if you want to ask a question to the student athletes at Texas, please, or Coach uh, Schaefer, who will go after the players, please use the raised hand function and you will be called on. Our first question is going to come from Austin American statesman Danny Davis. Danny. Um, Deanna, can you kind of take us through your day and why did you decide to play instead of just kind of taking the day off? <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't 
feeling good at all today. Uh, yesterday night, I didn't get any rest at all, probably at least like two hours of sleep. And so I woke up pretty bad. And today, I didn't do any shoot around. I just kind of rested. Uh, also, didn't really warm up a lot. And coach came in here and just kind of told me if you wanted to take this opportunity, then you need to take it instead of, you know, <laughs> not playing. But so I just kind of thought about it and I was like, maybe I should gut it out a little bit. And and I did. So. All right. Our next question is going to be with Mark Rosner, Austin American Statesman. <coughs> Please wait for the mic. Shaley, all that work inside that Deanna and the others did, is that partly at least what enabled you to get open in that third quarter for all those three um, shot shots? Yeah, I mean, I was I was wide open. They didn't guard the wing very well. Um, but obviously when they, you know, we pass it inside, they collapse. Um, and double on their post players, and then the guards are open on the outside. Please identify yourself. And oh, John your High Fox 7 here in Austin. Shaley, what was kind of going through your mind in that quarter? Because I think you had like 15 points. Um, the first quarter, I wasn't shooting very well. Um, and then the second quarter, I just had a different mentality. Um, just told myself to keep shooting it and letting it fly. Um, Chip Brown with Horns247.com. Um, Madison, just talk about how you were able to, you know, make things happen. If you know, even as Coach said, if the shot's not going down, the 14 assists, which is a record. I mean, yeah. Uh, as you can see, my my shot wasn't falling. I was four for 11 today. Um, yeah. Uh, so I mean, just next thing, next thing was get my teammates involved. Uh, do something else other than try to find my shot, really just not looking for them, and just like putting them in places so they can score and we can all, you know, just look good. Caleb Young, Austin uh, American. Yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Caleb Young, Austin American Statesman. Um, Madison, you look really happy in the third quarter, feeding, you know, Shaylee, seeing her get hot. Do you enjoy playmaking or scoring more? Uh, I think I like the assists better than you know, me scoring. Uh, it just it brings me so much joy just to see Shaylee, for one, just get confidence like that and really just keep shooting and keep finding her shot. And, you know, when she does that and she's on fire, I'm going to give her a ball every time and smile at her when she make it. So, uh, like I said, I really have to pass more than the score. Danielle Lerner, Houston Chronicle. Shaylee, when you first got here last season, how was it adjusting to Coach Schaefer's style of defense? How different was that from the, the system that you were in at BYU? Um, a lot different. Um, coming from the WCC to the Big 12 is a lot different and for playing for you know Vic Schaefer. Um, but it's just been a blessing and an honor to be here, you know, getting better as a player, um, you know, working on my defense, which is what Texas is all about, um, just makes me a better player player and I'm super super grateful for that. Next question will come from Kirk Bowles, Austin American Statesman. Yeah, did it Shaley, did it feel a little bit like old times at BYU when you lit it up consistently? It did. Yes, it did. <laughs> then and how does this role uh, satisfy you with what you're having to play this year last year? Um, I mean, obviously, I've had to find my role in different ways. Um, and all I want to do is, you know, to keep winning as a team. Um, that's all I care about. As long as we keep winning, you know, that's what we want to do. Um, and obviously, our goal is to get to the Final Four and, you know, play for that national championship. So, yeah. Um, Corey Mose, KVU News. Madison, throughout the game today, it felt like an open gym at times, you know, going up and down the court. As a playmaker, how fun is that to be able to move the rock fast and going up and down like that? Oh, really? I mean, just enjoying finding my teammates open, just enjoying the basically just transition. I mean, second half was. We scored a lot of points third quarter. So I think that was when it started looking like very fun out there. You know, we were seeing stops and then going down for transition offense. Or finally Shay Lee in the corner. Or finally like a post posting up. Or finally Shay Holly like on the I mean like the other side. So I mean, it's fun. Just passing the ball. So I mean, it was very much an enjoyment out there with my teammates. Tyler Feldman, KVU Sports. Shaylee, I'm curious. Your head coach going with a bold burnt orange pants fit today. Uh, if you had any thoughts on the, the ten look. out of ten, and you should see his socks. 
<laughs> she's really critical of my attire, just so you know. So if she says that, I'm I'm good. Hey, I'm hard on him like he's hard on me. <laughs> <laughs> are, are we going to get to see uh, socks? I, we're kind of blocked here. I, uh, yeah, you I'm not ask, asking you to stretch right above the table. <laughs> <laughs> we will after the press conference. Thanks, uh, Barbara. <laughs> All right, as the microphone is passed around, we're going to go to a question from uh, someone who is joining us via Zoom. Uh, please identify yourself and your affiliation, please, David Melandra. Go ahead, David. David Melandra from Fourth Talk, Philadelphia. Question for the players. Did Drexel show anything that, you, that surprised you at all, especially at the rate how you guys were scoring against them? Um, what surprised me, I would say, would probably be number 15 shooting that logo three-pointer. Um, she shot that twice, and I was guarding her the first time, and I didn't expect that. Um, so I'd say that was a surprise. I also agree with her. I was guarding her this, I think that was third, maybe fourth quarter, and she shot it from deep, and I was very surprised about that also. All right, we have time for a few more questions. Um, make sure you state your name and affiliation, please. Manny Ramirez for the Daily Texan. Shaylee, I wanted to ask you, how important is it to take this tournament just one game at a time and not try to look you know, too far ahead down the line? Yeah, um, I mean, as the number one seed, we have a lot of targets on our back. Um, so, you know, it's up for anyone to come after us. Um, and we knew that, you know, they were going to prepare super well for us, and we were also going to prepare for them. So, you know, just watching a lot of film. We came in last night um, to watch film. Um, and so just being, you know, mentally and physically prepared for that um, and just taking it game by game. Uh, Robert Gonsolin, TSTV Sports. Shaylee, tonight was a, a night where not only did you score a lot, a lot, a lot of members of the team scored, but one of those players was not Shay Holly. Can you talk about her importance to this team and how much y'all still rely on her and and need her and like y'all's trust y'all have in her and what does she bring to the team mm -hmm. even when she's not necessarily putting the ball in the basket? Yeah, I mean um, Shay's one of our best defenders. We always put her on one of you know the best players on the other team, um, and she's just really solid. Um, she had seven rebounds three steals and four blocks. So if, even if she doesn't score, she's still doing things outside of scoring, which helps our team a lot. Uh, Christina Huang, Houston Chronicle. Um, Shaylee, what do you think are the most important factors uh, to being a good three-point shooter? Um, I would say just being confident in yourself um, and then always putting in extra work outside of practice and what you do with the team. Um, we, Shay and I always shoot like 30, 40 minutes before practice um, just to get a lot of shots up, so shooting extra. Danny Davis, Austin American State. Uh, Shaylee or Madison, what have your teammates, Deanna tonight, Amo at the Big 12 Championship game, I think Shay was sick the day before, what have they kind of shown you in those games, gutting it out and you know, still playing 30, 40 minutes in those games when they're sick? I mean, they show me a lot of heart. I mean, just feeling that way and still wanting to play, like, for us, with us, it just shows just a commitment that we all have to like basically like our end goal. And um, <clears throat> it just shows like basically our character, their character. Like they want to win. They want to be on the court with us, helping us. So, I mean, it's just just showing basically like their commitment to the team. Yeah, um, I mean, we had people sick. We got girls having injuries, um, and they're just playing through it. Um, so I think that shows, like Maddie said, character and heart. Um, which I feel like makes our team really good, that we all want to play, we all know our role, and we know what it takes to win. Um, and that's what makes us a really good team. We have time for one more question. And just identify yourself, please. Jay Mitanguma, TSTV Sports. Dayona, you led the team in rebounding, and I thought that you were pretty physical in the paint. I was just wondering how you maintain that level of, of aggressiveness when you're feeling under the weather. Well, in practice, we have uh, practice guys, and they're pretty strong. And so I'm always battling with them in practice every day. And so it's basically just like clockwork. So it's like I have to be aggressive all the time. So from taking it from practice to the game, it's, it's easier to maintain that. I want to thank our players uh, for joining us today. Congratulations, ladies. Uh, best of luck in the second round. And uh, we'll continue with questions with, for Coach in a moment. Thank you very much. Thank you.
see y'all later. Good job. All right, we're going to start with our questions. Um, uh, the first question will go to Danny Davis from the Austin American Statesman for coach. The second question will go to Kirk Bowles of the Austin American Statesman. Danny? Um, Vic, do you need to quarantine your players or something at this point with all these sickness going on? And what did you overall thoughts on Dion? I know you touched on it on the opening statement. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, we had the issue at the Big 12 tournament, and that was kind of a stomach bug deal. Dion came out of left field. I, I knew something was wrong when I got off the elevator the, this morning, and there's my trainer standing there on the fourth floor. That's not her floor. So I knew something was up, and she said that Dee didn't feel good, started feeling bad last night. And um, so, you know, I <clears throat> we she had to go see the doctor this morning, and it was during our shoot-around. And um, so I just we, – we, she actually fell asleep in the training room, you know. And, and when she came back, I just – told her just you know stay away and uh, doc said she's no fever she's not contagious she doesn't you know but she's got some things going on and so <laughs> I, I go in and she she came out i don't know if you noticed she was out there an hour and a half before the game with 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 whiz getting shots and she really was struggling and um and doc encouraged her to do they said you need to get out there and get some shots and see how you're going to feel after that and she didn't feel good so she went back in the training room here and was laying down and I just all I did was walked in and, and checked on her and she was she was laying down with a towel over her head. I said, Dee, what what do you think? She goes, I mean, she looked bad, I'll be honest with you. She didn't look very good. And, uh, all my conversation with her was is, D, I know you don't feel good, but you obviously you don't have a fever and you, you're not contagious. I said, it's the NCAA tournament. You only have so many of these in your career. And, you know, but hey, it's, it's, I'm with that, whatever you want to do, I'm good. But just, you know, and so she kind of sat up and she goes, yeah, let me see if I can go out and warm up a little bit. So I give the kid a lot of credit. She, I didn't, you know, I really didn't expect her to play. You know, she looked bad and I know she felt bad. And uh, so I'm proud of her because she ends up with a double-double, Danny. And, you know, that's – she'll she'll look back on this somewhere down the line in her career or at work in the real world and realize, hey, I'm okay. It's, uh, you know, everybody can't, go, can't work on their best days, right? We can't – if we, all we do is work on the, go to work on the days we feel great, we, we probably have a hard time keeping a job. So I'm proud of her. I really am. Um uh, I wouldn't say Deanna would have done that two or three years ago. And you have to turn it on. Better? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, two prong, Vic, uh, the intent for the full court press, uh, the, why you chose that strategy. And Shaley looked like a, somebody who could average 25 a game. Why have you been holding her back so long? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, it's just uh, she really looked good tonight. She shot it really well, eight for 11, five out of six from three. And uh, she had three steals, two assists, and didn't have a turnover. That's a pretty good stat line for a two guard. Um, you know, we need, her to, we need her to score like that. Her and Shea both are, you know, Shea fills up a stat sheet in a whole different way tonight and helps us win seven rebounds, three steals, four blocks. She leads us in block shots. That's those two have helped us win a lot of games, Kurt. You know, and in a lot of different ways. And you just gotta love both of them. How hard they played. You know, somebody asked Shaley about her defense. That kid's really good defensively. Like she's smart, and she. Uh, I wasn't real pleased with our team early on defensively, but I thought they picked it up as the game went on. But you know, Shaley, both those kids played really well. And then, um, what was the other part, Kurt? Oh yeah, so we we you know we we wanted to we wanted to I wanted our to get my kids going really and uh, give give uh, give three uh, Amaris uh, credit Baker the Baker kid she she uh, she really stressed us a little bit you know in their press attack and so um, you know we we got something out of it early um, then I thought we gave up some some stuff out of it and and uh, again. 
felt like we could get out of it and guard them on the half court after that. But really just wanted to get going, you know, wanted to get our team going. Vic, Tyler Feldman, KVU Sports. Selection Sunday, sh Selection Sunday show. Selection yep. Sunday, you, uh, you said six wins. Now you're down to five wins. What more do you want to see out of your team as this tournament progresses? Yeah, so, you know, just to be completely uh, transparent, um, you know, we had two really good practices last week when we came back from the Big 12 tournament. I gave them Wednesday and Thursday off. Friday and Saturday was, was off the chart, really good. I mean, I cut them short. They were just locked in. We took Sunday off. And after the the selection show, we just – I don't know, y'all. I'm, I'm, and, and, I, you know, I've, I've, I've tried to tell them, uh, but we just haven't had that edge. And uh, – and I even told them before the game today, you know, I kind of got on them a little bit. So I wasn't impressed with our shoot around, wasn't impressed with yesterday's practice. And and so, um, you know, just really wanting us to get that. We've had an edge, y'all, all year. Nobody picked us to win when Rory went down. So we've been playing with this edge of trying to prove ourselves and get it done. And I just felt like we've lost that, whether it's, you go through and you get the number one seed and now you're feeling your oats. You know, I don't know. I don't know what that is. But I just – I know it. I see it. And so I I really uh, – I, I had to remind them again um, that we haven't done anything. You know, we certainly earned the, the seeding that where we are, but now it, it – the fight is now and we've got to keep our edge. Um, and so uh, – you know, that's what I'd like to see my team have, a little more focus and a little more edge to them um, because that's what it's going to take from here on out. Uh, I don't know who's going to win today, but both of them are really good. They're well coached. they got really good players. they got all conference players. Like, it's going to take a, a great effort on our part, and nobody's going to give it to you. And, and I, I, I just um, – I don't know. I, I was. I'll be, I'll be honest with y'all. I, I was very concerned going in and uh, even started the game. But second quarter was a little better defensively. In the third quarter, that's that's us. That's what I see sometimes in practice. And I think, okay, we got a chance. We have time for two more questions, Chip. Uh, Chip Brown, Horns twenty four seven dot com. Vic is Aaliyah okay? Looked like she went to the locker room, came back. Yeah, she just, you know, Chip, it's it's not her surgically repaired knee. It's the other one. You know, she's just got some tendonitis in it, and um, it just flares up. Sometimes it's, you know, when she plants wrong or hard stop, it's it's almost, it sets her off, you know. It's really uncomfortable. So give the kid credit. She's gutsy. You know, she's played through it, and um, Doc's done some stuff with her to try to help her get better, but tonight it it really starts the third quarter and you got to try to keep her warm too like i almost have to get peloton over there and get her in a workout well you know to get her going at halftime instead of let her coming in because once she cools off it's hard to get back warm again coach you told me that with the daily uh, text please identify yourself first please he told me that with the daily text in how was it like having sarah back on the floor today yeah you know sarah's uh she's somebody that our kids love and uh She's got a lot of respect and admiration from all of them, as well as myself. So it was great to get her in the game today and uh, allow her to have some playing time. And, you know, kid plays really hard. Like, she practices hard. She, uh, we've missed her, and I'm glad she's back healthy. Thank you so much, Coach. We'll, we'll continue our conversation with the media tomorrow. And uh, thank you very much, and we'll see you then. Congratulations on the win. All right. Thanks, Barb. Praise the Lord. Go horns.